Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and I make mommy, lifestyle, and Leo content. And today I am just here with a quick cleaning video. I wish that I could actually clean as fast as I look like I'm moving in this video, <laughs> but I just sped it up a little for video purposes. Um, I had a bit of a mess today. <laughs> My son was taking a nap, thankfully. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know our struggles with his sleeping lately. And so I decided to get as much done as possible while he was taking a nap. You'll notice that my puppies tend to follow me around. <laughs> the big one is Daxter and the little one is Chip. And Daxter especially can get underfoot and it's something that we're working on with him right now but it's kind of a daily struggle. <laughs> if you are a dog mama, maybe you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> As most of you mamas know, laundry tends to be unending, <laughs> and I usually try to do one load of laundry per day, and that just helps us keep up with it, but lately my son has not been sleeping well. He is teething, going through a leap, and a growth spurt at the same time. And so things have been a little bit crazy lately. We have been a little bit in survival mode and so the laundry tends to fall behind during those times. And so today I just really wanted to tackle it. And I usually either watch YouTube videos or my absolutely favorite show, Friends, um, while I'm doing laundry. And so today I was watching Friends. I have seen Friends probably nine times through. <laughs> Today I just finished it again and if you have been following me for a little while you will know that I grew up in a really conservative home and so I actually didn't have a TV until I moved out on my own at about 19 and Friends was the first show that I ever watched and it will always always have a very special place in my heart. I love it very much and I just watch it on repeat it's something that I've seen a million times, so I don't even really have to be watching it to know what's going on, and I just really love it. So it's, it's a staple in my house. <laughs> You will notice that my husband's recliner is stuck <laughs> in its outward position and we're not really sure what's wrong with it. It will continuously go forward like the, the 
chair will extend, but it won't fold back in. And so his dad is an electrician, and so he is planning to come over and take a look at it for us. But until then, we're kind of just walking around it, and it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> but we love that chair. It was left here by the previous owner, and my husband loves it. And I actually spent a lot of time in it when we were first home with Oliver from the hospital. It was comfortable and I could lay in it with Oliver and have everything nearby. And so we, we really love that chair. So we don't want to give up on it yet. <laughs> I tend to fold the laundry and, well, everything that needs folded and lay everything out that needs hung and then I wait until my husband's home and we put it away together. I find that this is just the simplest way and everything gets put away at one time instead of sitting around in baskets. <laughs> and so this is my pretty normal routine and then he has weird schedules right now and so it's just whenever he's home we get together and we put all the laundry away and it's kind of a nice time for us to spend together so we just enjoy doing it together. My sister ordered a new rug, but she recently moved and was afraid it wouldn't be delivered to the correct place, and so she had it delivered to my house, so I just wanted to text her and let her know that her rug had arrived. It's so pretty, and she was so excited to receive it. Just carry these baskets up to our room and make sure to leave them for when hubby gets home. <laughs> I'm not sure either of us really enjoys laundry but we like to do it together. We had had a little DIY project going on for Father's Day and so all of these craft supplies are left out from that and I don't really have a designated spot for our craft supplies because we don't have a ton but I know that as Oliver grows that collection will also grow <laughs> 
and hopefully he will love to draw and color and paint as much as I did as a kid. And so I just use these little drawers on the side of the table to store those items for now. And that'll probably change over time, but for now it works. Now, I know I'm off screen right here, but on the opposite wall where you kind of see my shadow, <laughs> we have built-ins on either side of the doorway, and I use those built-ins to store a lot of my entertaining items, and I recently had an outdoor party, which was what all of those candles were left out from, and I had used um, that little stand over there is my grandmother's record player and I love that thing. I'm so excited for Christmas this year and to get some Christmas records to play on it. Um, but I had used that for some food and drink items and so I wanted to get everything placed back. Now you see me coming going out of that room um, and that is actually our guest room which is a complete disaster right now <laughs> and I may film a um, cleaning video in there or get organized video in there. Um, I store a lot of things in there, but because of the party that I had recently, everything got tossed in there and it is a mess. So it needs clean too. <laughs> My husband tends to unload the dishwasher for me and I load it. I hate putting dishes away. <laughs> I had nine siblings and we did not have a dishwasher growing up and so I really, really hate washing dishes and putting them away. It's, it's probably my least favorite chore. <laughs> so my husband graciously unloads the dishwasher for me and I load it. Um, but his schedule has been a little bit crazy lately and so I went ahead and just unloaded it so I could load it again. <laughs> Our kitchen is quite small, which is why I had a difficult time getting the camera into this angle. <laughs> you will see in the next clip um, just about how small our kitchen is. <laughs> When we first bought our house, I actually wasn't sure about the small size of the kitchen. It's pretty much exactly what you see, except behind the camera. There is one small counter with a, um, a few cabinets, and I wasn't sure about it when we moved in, and we do have plans to expand it um, because we do want more children, and we figured that, you know, <laughs> to me, the kitchen is the heart of the home, and there to be room to bake cookies and help mom make dinner <laughs> but I actually don't mind it so much now that we've been here a while I have come to really like the small size and the only thing that I don't like about it is storage so a lot of the pans and things like that have to be stored down in our laundry room and there's ample shelving in there so that's where our large pans go and so we make it work it's it's not too bad now but I do think that when we have more children, when we have more food, when we have more <laughs> dishes, um, this may be an issue later in life, but I actually, I actually quite like it for now.
we do plan to do a small makeover in here, possibly paint the cabinets and change out the tile, um, but that will be in the future sometime. We haven't found anybody in our area that paints cabinets, and neither of us feel uh, <laughs> brave enough to attempt it on our own. So that is something that we would like to do if and when we can find someone to do it for a reasonable price. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this clean with me. It just gives you a little glimpse of our home. I do plan to do a home tour probably sometime in the future. I might go room by room or I might do the house as a whole. I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> um, but doing these videos helps me feel motivated to clean and to get things tidied up in our home. So if nothing else, it helps me. <laughs> but I hope that it's motivating to you and helps you uh, get up and get things tidied up today. I know that I always feel more confident when I have a clean home. So I hope that you will subscribe and I hope that you'll stick around for the next video. Bye!